For ARC, when we looked at what it should be, what is the aesthetic of ARC, we felt that it should be something elegant and it should take its place on the riverbank. And it should be something that somebody who's lived their life in Brisbane City could move into and be proud of. It responds to the triangular site, but it actually forms a sweeping arc. We've taken that and shaped it and morphed it to resemble the riverine context that it sits in. It has that unique situation where it is forming a gateway into the suburb. There is nothing in front of this building as it's approached and nothing to the outlook of the building as it's seen from the river. So it's a highly visual project and from that perspective it was essential that we had to get that architecture to work seamlessly with that riverfront address. We wanted something that was water sculpted and ephemeral in its presence both to the street frontage and to the river and so it's a sculpted form that sort of moves and undulates level to level in subtle ways which as it sort of sits in its entirety means that there's small crevices for landscaping and shading. And the beauty of the screen and the control we can provide there is the way that it opens and tightens in the movement of the building, allows us to control privacy where necessary, and also sunlight coming into entertainment spaces. And that's really important, and we know that's important for Spire too, that no resident is preferred over the other. You know, anyone who buys into this building is getting the best possible outcome. When this project is seen and understood by the residents and the city, they'll understand that what we've tried to push is the envelope for great architecture and great design and a project that really sits itself as part of Brisbane's character.